McDavid potted a beauty in the second frame to pull the Oilers within one and again followed that up with a clutch equalizer with 27 seconds remaining in the third to send things to overtime where, unfortunately for the Oil, JT Confer scored to give Colorado a 4-3 win and that coveted extra point in the standings. I'm in a bad play at the blue line, um, turned it over and that gave them an opportunity to play offense but um, and then they, uh, you know, they just capitalized on a bouncing puck in front of the net and uh, you know, it's the way it goes. Uh, should have did a better job at the blue line, shouldn't have uh, made that pass, should have just pulled out and uh, made a better play. But um, you live and you learn and uh, you know, we, we battled back at one point at least and uh, I know it's something to build off moving forward. Yeah, we had chances, they had chances, uh, kind of like any other overtime, honestly. Uh, uh, it's a point of three on three, and that's uh, whoever scores on their chance first. And there yeah, it's you know, I both teams really needed that extra point, and uh, for most of that uh, overtime, we had possession, and we just weren't able to to get that uh, to get that shot off to to get that goal, and they're able to get the bounce and get the point, and you know that's it's a it's a big point to give up, and it's a big point for them uh, with both teams being where they are in the standings. While there may not be any moral victories, it is worth noting that the Oilers have managed points in five of their last six games and own a 4-1-1 record in that span. However, they face quite the challenge on Monday when they host the ever-dangerous Tampa Bay Lightning. Chris Westcott, Oilers TV.